for watching him enjoy Titans ball game. Being here and being able to see Cutter in person in action is it's awesome. Sitting in the middle of a crowd at a minor league baseball game in Delaware recently was a proud father, but this is not your typical baseball dad. Three key pitch, it's out of here! Home run, Lenny Dykstra! 20 years ago, Lenny Dykstra was one of the most recognizable faces in Philadelphia. He was the catalyst of the Phillies' 1993 National League Championship team. Philadelphia Phillies have won the National League pennant. I just had some great times there, great memories, and I was really, really blessed to be able to play there. But when the Phillies honored that team recently, Lenny was not there. Going to the game would have been a violation of his parole following a six-month prison stay after pleading guilty to three felonies, including bankruptcy fraud and money laundering. I really wanted to come. I wanted to be part of that. The fans in Philadelphia and the city of Philadelphia really hold a special place in my heart. In the years since he left Philadelphia and the game, Lenny's life has been nothing short of a roller coaster. After success with several business ventures, Lenny's net worth was estimated at $58 million, as recently as 2008. But by late 2009, he filed for bankruptcy, and his wife, Terry, filed for divorce after 23 years of marriage. In December 2012, the player known as Nails was sent to prison. I guess you could say peaks and valleys, you know? So uh, just made some bad decisions. It was a rough time, you know, but, but in, a, in a weird way, you know, it helped me get what's, you know, important, prioritize. It made me, like, realize what I lost. You know what I mean? Which is my family. Were they accepting? I mean, did they ever dislike you all for it? I didn't want to do this interview about my family. Okay. Being well, mad what? at me. Okay. Uh, yeah, well. we almost did. He was hesitant to talk about it at first, but the more we talked, it was clear how important rebuilding the relationship with his children and his ex-wife, Terry, is to Lenny. Getting a chance to see Cutter play in person was an opportunity Lenny would not pass up. Ladies and gentlemen, leading off the third for the Potomac Nationals, third baseman Cutter Dykstra. Lenny was only able to make the trip to Wilmington to watch Cutter because he was paid to appear at a card show in New York City and an autograph signing in King of Prussia on the same weekend. His probation only allows him to leave California if he's earning a paycheck. I'm talking to my kids every day, you know, helping them with their their, their baseball and their school, and I'm really, really, really grateful to be to be a part of their life again. Do you think the two of you, you and Terry, could ever be together again? I think there's a chance that could happen. Yeah. I'm gonna take it slow, though. I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I'm sure she is too. But she's a great person, you know. Always been a great mother and a great wife. 30 years ago, Lenny Dykstra was in a similar position as his son, a minor league baseball player trying to make his way to the majors. Now Lenny is trying to help Cutter realize his dream and rebuild his own life in the process. What happened, happened and hopefully I can learn from it and maybe some other people can learn from it. I still have the last third of my life to live. Mike Jarek, Fox 29 News.